Hey, Nation Nation, Harry here, and boy, it's my last podcast interview of the day. Thank you, sir. Wait a minute, that's not a that's not a nice way to bring you in. How you doing, Dennis Wilson? Hi, uh, how you doing, Harry? Good, good. So enjoyed our uh, chit chat on the rehearsal about uh, moving and where to live and how to get there. So always a pleasure <laughs> to see you. Um, but you came loaded for bear. You uh, are, are trumpeting a new Verizon study about work and how work works. So give us the the four one one. And I, I feel strongly in this area. I got a couple questions. Yeah, what we uh, Verizon does an annual study of everybody that that they have ac- access to, and asking them how, how they feel about a variety of, of questions, and and then publishes the report for everybody to have access to. And, and uh, so I've, I look at it every year. They have good stuff. Uh, and and, uh, and uh, Jay McBain and Carl uh, Palachuk and I have, have talked back and forth about it. They, they do the same thing, just uh, um, reading it uh, religiously. But the one thing that isn't surprising is that uh, the Verizon found that 70% of Americans not only want to work in a hybrid model on a going forward basis, uh, but they also... Uh, expect that they will be working one to two days uh, a, a week uh, remotely and that their boss will set it up for them on a going forward basis to be um, uh, working remotely. And uh, so 70%, guess what? There's going to be a lot of people out there that uh, are only moving back to the office part-time. And and that means that that we as MSPs are going to have to support them. And, and be more active about supporting them. Uh, the, the, the thing that, that surprised me, though, is that, that um, basically they're, they're saying that they're using their remote devices for more uh, uh, interfacing with work as well. Not only the, the mobile phones that yeah. they're using for Zoom calls, yeah. yep, uh, but, but things like the, uh, the, they're using their pads because they've got them at home and they, and they interface with the, the, these devices, iOS devices and, and, and Android devices uh, to do work with. And so guess what? I am sure that we are going to be asked to take that on. And uh, I, <laughs> I've talked to my guys and we're not real happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? What, uh, BYOD and MDM, man, bring your own mm-hmm. device and mobile device management. Yep. And it, it is literally the wild west. Don't get me started. Um, on the hybrid work model, speaking for myself, uh, and as I, uh, I, I, I've been vaccinated, so I'm feeling a little bit. I mean, I'm still behaving in public, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 so on. But what I've done uh, just most recently is um, I'm a member of uh, Regis, the co-worker space, and they have a membership that's akin to an airport lounge. Cost about the same. You know how airport lounge, Alaska Airlines, three fifty yeah. a year? And it's the same kind of concept at three fifty a year. You don't get an office at Regis. Those are like 25 bucks an hour, but you get the little pods to sit in mm-hmm. and just mm-hmm. work away. Yep. And the way I work is uh, I get cabin fever. I'm in my home office right now in the Austin, Texas area. And doggone it, Dennis, I got to get out one or two days a week just because, right? That's just the way yeah. my brain works. Yep. I, I, I get a little caffeine jittery sitting mm-hmm. at home all the time. And and and, and I go to Regis. And uh, I, I've written articles on, I mean, you know, 1,900 locations worldwide back when I was traveling in the day. I mean, it's gorgeous. And um, so I, I believe in hybrid work, right? And and. Mm-hmm though I don't have leased office space. And I think that's what you're going to see. Um, I, I concur is, is what I'm saying. I think you're going to see that blend where people get perhaps a little bit better uh, work-life balance by, by working from home, whatever days a week, not commuting. And then, but, but still having the connectivity with the corporate culture and, yep. and, and, the, and, and the cabin fever busters. Please continue. Are there other points in the study that, that stood out? Well, there's there's one in particular that they they uh, talked about, which was that uh, that uh, the, that uh, the the users at home are using all con- mostly consumer grade they stuff. Are. They are, and so in particular, we were talking to firewalls that that have basically a plastic door in front of them that says "Come on through here." 
you know, it's just not making sense for us to take responsibility for it and the risk. And we're going to be asked to do so. And now I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Yeah, I, I, I think I wonder if this will uh, is uh, and, and again, not not to take a right angle on this, but having grown up Episcopalian and I'll just leave it at that. That's a minor point. But I've seen the church split twice. OK, that, that that's what churches do. And the big mm-hmm. one was, I think, under Henry VIII, the Church of England split from the Roman yep. Catholic Church. And, yep. and, and again, not not taking a right angle on you. It's more to make a point um, The the, the, the point is, this may cause a split in the MSP community, right? That there's going to be MSPs that don't touch remote workers in home, and maybe they'll focus more on the mid-sized clients and enterprise. And then there will be the people that maybe dabbled in home theater back in the day, you know, mm-hmm. and, 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 and supporting the housewife and the this and that. Uh, the boutique lawyer who, who works from his little mother-in-law apartment in the second you know, part of his property. Um, I, Dennis, I, I, I predict it because there's going to be some MSPs, uh, a, a couple I know who are quite large, one in Houston and, and, and another in Detroit, Michigan. They probably have too much overhead. They probably can't afford to serve that market profitably. Yeah. Right? Does that make sense? Well, that's one of the things we looked at, it, you know, doing all the, the support remotely. Uh, in terms of decreasing, you know, cost per person to maintain them, um, but that, I, I, we have yet to come up with a model that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, this is a really good podcast because I think you're you're introducing a topic. I mean, we're all talking hybrid work from home and this and that, and you know, the Burlington Northern sent ten thousand people home, and the VPN connectivity was horrible. Mm-hmm. To, to, to get back into the railroad data center. Yeah. Um, but you're introducing a, a concept that's a little closer to the mark with our SMB nation. Um, a, do you, you've said it. Do we even want to serve these accounts? <laughs> yeah. You know? And, and, and you know, you know you're, even the accounts that you have come to you and say, oh, by the way, I, we've, we've got the CEO going home now for two days a week. You know, in fact... <laughs> I just had to call this morning with one that, that the the CFO is semi uh, the CEO is semi retiring, but he maintains the daily access uh, into um, his QuickBooks, of course. Yeah. You know that, and and he he, he doesn't know how to run a computer. Uh, you know, and what am I going to do? These yeah. guys are one of my best customers. You yeah. know, and he's he's uh, sixty miles away at home, fixing around with his laptop. And I've heard the traffic's returned in Southern Cal. I was just listening to that yesterday <laughs> on Sirius XM yeah. on, a, on, a, on a talk piece. Um, the, uh, I'll end on this. The one person that has monetized this well and is happy as a clam is a friend of mine, Carl, back in Seattle, Washington. Um, he's in the business of executive coaching for speech, right? So like Amazon executives where maybe English is a second language and he's helping them to, to, to give better keynote speeches and, mm-hmm. and, and, and webinars and, and, and quite frankly, just do better at their jobs. And his secret sauce is he, he just says, guys, just talk like you're on the weekend, right? Authenticity. Don't, don't, don't get all nervous. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. talk like you're on the weekend. Well, what he did, so I get to the point, what he did as part of his consulting package is he put together a spreadsheet of the sort of the ultimate CNN or, or, or MSNBC or Fox home studio, right? Because these guys have to be camera ready and, and there's no margin for error. The lighting, the sound, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and he's out there rolling out anywhere from $5,000 to $25,000 engagements for these executives. Now, that's the one guy that nailed it, but that's, that's, that's easy pickings because he's not a cybersecurity guy. He's not an infrastructure guy, right? He's, he's setting up a TV studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, love and life. So. We're going to talk about this later on and see if, if uh, anybody can uh, – come up with a model that makes good sense for MSPs who are going to be dealing with this as an add-on to their existing business. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, hey, can you do us? No, I, I agree. I agree. Let's. Uh, I'm going to make a note uh, for for next round to, to double click down into this. And as part of that, can you send me the link to the study uh, if if you have it? Um, a, I'd like to read it, and B, uh, I'd, I'd I'd like to uh, post it up. I'd like to make it part of the uh, the blog right beneath us. Sure, we'll do. All right, my friend. Take care. Thank you. Have a good day.